everybody and welcome back to my channel for today's video I thought I would just do my makeup I do have some new products that I've been loving so I thought I would just show you guys those put them on my face and kind of just show you how I make myself look better <laughs> because you know, I do go makeup list a lot more recently than I used to do. I used to be like, no, I have to do my makeup every day, but now I don't really care as much. I go out of, without makeup on, I'm like over it. But at the same time, I'm like, I look better with it on, you know? First step, this is completely unnecessary. I'm gonna be using this Queen of Hungary Mist. I got this when I was in New York City with Puma. It's just like one of those products that really serves no specific use other than just being a bougie as hell water spray. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the new foundation from Benefit that I've been loving. This is the Hello Happy foundation. I'm wearing the shade six today, which is like a warm toned medium shade. Here, it looks super dark, but as you blend it out into your skin, it's not as like harsh. It doesn't look like you're wearing like heavy, heavy foundation or anything like that, but it really just like evens out your skin tone, smooths out all your lines and your pores. I just am a really big fan of it. I feel like I have too many foundations that I like recently. It's like, how am I supposed to pick one, you know? So now I'm looking much more like a bronze goddess. We're gonna go in with concealer. For my concealer, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I have it in the shade Light Warm or 2W. And I don't apply this in too many areas. I just focus it right in that inner corner because I'm so dark in there. Like, I don't know why, but it looks like I've never slept. And I just do like three little dots right there. I might zoom you guys in a bit more. There, I feel like now you can really see my face and all of my flaws, just how I want it. <laughs> I have like the biggest pores. Like, they're actually huge. I don't understand. And I use so many like pore minimizing skincare products and like I still have big pores so I just think that they're not going anywhere and I need to give up but then I go in <laughs> with the YSL Touche Eclat it looks like this and this is in the shade 2.5 and I apply this under my eyes as well this one's like super brightening which I love so I love to just apply this under here I've been doing this again I used to always do this and then I kind of like forgot about it and then I apply some down the bridge of my nose between my eyebrows and then some on my chin and I just love the overall look of it. It just makes you look so like awake, which I need because I always look tired because my dogs wake me up at 6.30 in the morning every single day because they want me to feed them. They don't ask anybody else in my house to feed them, just me. <laughs> I am the chosen one. Next up, we're gonna set our face. Peach Perfect, shocking. <laughs> oh God, I was watching an interview yesterday of Five Seconds of Summer and they were like back in Australia, I guess, doing an interview. And their Australian accents are gone. They sound American. I'm sorry. Like, no, 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 no. The reason I fell in love with them in 2014 is because they satisfied all my Australian boy dreams. But their music is still great. But the Aussie in them, <laughs> that ship has sailed. Next up, Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Love this stuff. Been loving it for like ever. So good. It's like the perfect shade. I'm using this like weird brush from Hourglass. It's like double-ended. And I'm just going to contour out my cheekbones that I don't have. <laughs> because I literally don't have any. I think I'll maybe get cheekbones by like 45. And then my face will start to sag and it'll be worth nothing. I love to do it underneath my jaw because that's something else that I like. I think I just don't really have like strong bone structure per se, you know? I do have quite a baby face and the bone structure is just kind of lacking. I don't really have like a... Next up, I'm gonna go in with this blush. This is by Bare Minerals. It is the Generation Nude Powder Blush in that peach dough. That peach though. Wow, I need to like get fake nails again. Look how ugly my nails are. <laughs> peach blush is like my favorite. I just find it like so natural on me. I don't know. Like pink I find never looks natural, but peach, peach, it works. My favorite highlighter, the Anastasia Beverly Hills and M. Resi collab, the best highlighter known to mankind. Look at that. I feel like you can't have like too much of this highlighter. Like it's just so pretty. It's like the prettiest glow. Bury me just in this highlighter. Okay, now that our skin is done, it's time to fix up my eyebrows because like we can't be going out like this, okay? That is not a look that we are going for. I've been back on the dip brow. I, I thought I was done dip brow, but apparently I'm not. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow. I have it in the shade taupe. Looks like this, you can see I've been using it. I just really like it. It does everything you could ever want an eyebrow product to do. It 
And then what I do is I just go in with my Hourglass Arch Brow Volumizing Fiber. I love this stuff so much. And I just brush through all the hairs and it kind of like makes it look more realistic. You can kind of like see the eyebrow hairs better and it also just keeps them in place because I have like really long eyebrow hairs. And there we go. So there you can see the before and after. Like this side just looks so much more put together and this side just looks like I just woke up, help. <laughs> so now I'm gonna go and do this eyebrow and I'll be right back. So now my eyebrows are all filled in and now we're just gonna do my eyeshadow. I haven't been really doing a lot with my eyeshadow recently. One, because I'm lazy and two, because I don't care. So, <laughs> I love this palette though. This palette is the bomb.com Tarte. I love you. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. It's literally the perfect eyeshadow palette. Like, look at this thing. I love it. So all I'm gonna do is take the color Smarty Pants, which is this like warm, medium brown shade. And I'm just gonna apply this all over my eyelids. The same color and we're just going to go through our crease and just kind of blend it out. I'm one of those people where it's like, I'm not bad at makeup but I'm not particularly good either. That's why I always just do kind of like everyday looks because that's really all I can possibly do, so. That was an attractive face I was just making. I'm gonna go back into the Emrezi highlighter because it's bay, and I'm gonna apply this into my inner corners to highlight them in. Them look a little bit better because we like that bright eyed look, you know. So then I just curl my eyelashes. And recently, I've been using this new mascara from this new brand that I don't know if any of you would have heard of. It's called Wander Beauty, and this is the Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. I've never heard of this brand at all until they sent me this. I'm pretty sure they're new and it's available at like Revolve. And I really like this mascara, it's really good. And I always get it all over my eyelids. Like, why do I even do makeup tutorials? <gasps> And then to finish it off, we're gonna do our lips. Oh, where's my lip liner? Hmm. I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk, and I'm going to line my little baby lips with this. I've really been considering getting lip injections recently. <laughs> I know, controversial. I just want like a mini one. You know, like what do they call them? Like a mini plump? Kind of more focused on my upper lip. One is to correct this weird thing I got going on. I shouldn't even point that out to you because now you'll probably never unsee it, but I have like this weird, I don't know what that is. I don't know, I hate it though. But then at the same time, I'm like, mm -mm. I've never had anything done, obviously. So like the idea of having something done kind of scares me. I'm like, do I really want to go down that path? <laughs> that path that everybody else seems to not be able to get off of. Then to finish off my look, I'm gonna be going in with the Too Faced. I don't know what these are really called. These lipsticks by Too Faced. This one's in Sunday Fun Day. It's like a really pretty pinky nude shade. And that is my completed, just like everyday makeup look recently. And I really like the way that it turned out. I think it's super natural, but kind of just makes you look a little bit more like put together. All right guys, so I changed out of my purple sweatshirt that I live in and I'm dressed now and I feel like I look a hundred times better. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys kind of like the everyday makeup that I use to kind of fix myself and make myself look better. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you all so, so, so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.